Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Gourmia Espresso Maker. So Walmart has this on sale for $50. That's a really good price. We're gonna unbox it and we're gonna see how it does. Now I am gonna be using, I got my own coffee that I brand. You can buy it at justadadcoffee.com. It's a Brazilian dark roast. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's see what, let's see what we get in the box. We're gonna do a setup. And then we're actually gonna brew some cappuccinos and lattes. They're gonna sell a lot of these, $50. That's a really good price point for an automatic espresso machine. Now be careful when you're unboxing it. Some of this stuff is just kind of in there loosely. We don't wanna break anything. Be careful pulling the tape off. Some of the tape residue does stay back. Okay, here's what the side looks like. We got a power button. The cord's not super long. We got a water tank that we can take on and off. We've got a drip tray that comes out. Now be careful, sometimes these can be kind of sharp. There's the drip tray that comes out. Here's the bottom side, and there's where the espresso's made. Okay, so it comes with this automatic milk frother. We're gonna put some milk in it, but to prime the pump, we're gonna put water in it first. But here's what it looks like. We can rotate this. We got different settings for how much froth we get. Okay, so here's the porta filter it comes with. Now be careful, that edge is kind of sharp actually it's got like a little lip on it so just be careful these are pressurized filter baskets they got just a little hole right here now this is you don't have to use freshly ground coffee some of the nicer ones come with uh, non-pressurized which that's you're supposed to use freshly ground coffee but with pressurized filter baskets you can use just standard ground coffee so we're going to try it with some Dunkin' Donuts. You can also use this Cafe Bustelio. It's already ground in an espresso ground, which is a little bit finer. We're going to try just normal drip coffee maker, which is ground in a medium grind. Now these are a single um, shot and a double shot. Then we've got the tamper and the scoop. Now with the porta filter, you're simply going to put the, the filter basket in. It may rotate on you and it won't come out, but if you line up, there's a little notch. Line those notches up, that'll come out. And it does have this little flap, so when we need to get the puck out, you're gonna get the puck out, you can hold that in. That's gonna be a really, really nice feature. Okay, let's prime the pump on this. First, we're gonna fill this milk frother up to the max line with just fresh water, and same with the water reservoir. Okay, so this is something I recommend. It doesn't talk about it in the manual, but I call it priming the pump. My water reservoir is full of water. I'm gonna set it on and off the machine about 10 times. You're going to see some air bubbles come up, but this forces water down into the machine. Sometimes these machines sit, they get some air pockets in them, or the water evaporates inside them, but this really, really helps. Okay, so now we're going to take the milk frother. We're eventually going to put milk in this, but to prime the pump, it's just water. Now you just simply, there's a little notch right here, line this up, and we just got to push it in. There. It kind of goes down in that little detent right there. Lift up, and that's how you remove it. Push it in until it goes into that detent. So we're gonna try, it looks like it might be off just a little bit, but as long as it, I think the bottom goes in, so you just push it in, and then the bottom will click into place. That should be good and far enough in, because been, I've been trying to push this a little farther, and it won't go in anymore. Okay, so get you a container that can hold some hot water. You gotta put this Rotate this so that hot water is going to come out of here and where the espresso comes out. Now you do have to turn it on over here. There's the display. Looks really nice. Yeah, that's a really nice touch screen display. Looks nice. Okay, so the frother control is a little confusing. This is less froth and then there's a plus down here and there's a clean. So they want us to rotate it. This is the maximum froth. It's going to be really airy on the top you have a lot of milk foam and then at the end we're going to do a clean cycle but they want it right now just on the max froth now they do want you to put a porta filter in with a filter basket so you're going to start off here to the left it'll go up into a detent and then you're going to rotate you got to hold the machine rotate it till it's at a 90 degree angle now you can put your container so the hot water is going to go through the filter and through the milk frother okay so i'm simply going to tap the clean button So that only ran water through the milk frother. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a latte. 
a double. Press the latte button twice, the double is flashing. Now we'll get water coming out the espresso side and the frother side. Okay, so now we're getting that steam built up. Again, this is just preliminary steps. So after it's done with the milk frother, then it does the espresso, which is just water for now. Okay, so at this point, be careful. This is gonna have a lot of water in it. So we're gonna rotate this. I like to dump it. You can just dump it right in the there. But this has to be really dry. So we're gonna take this out and dry it before we can use it. And also we're gonna take this out. You got I think if you just lift up from the bottom. Lift up from the bottom. That kind of gets it out of the detent. Now we're gonna put milk in this. Okay, so I like to use 2% milk. You can use whole milk, skim milk. Almond milk works really good too, I bet. I got this little gadget off of Amazon. It's actually pretty fun. Okay, our milk's in. Let's put this in again. You got a tube here. Make sure this tube, it comes all installed. You can take, we'll take this apart for cleaning later, but make sure this is all nice installed. Just simply just slide it down in there. And again, line up the notch, slide it in, and the bottom part will click in. And then the display becomes alive. Now this can get messy, but you're always gonna be rinsing this out and making sure it's dry. I'll be doing a double shot first, then a single shot, but line up, there's a little uh, detent there, line that up right there, and then it can rotate after that. There is a maximum line. Now I'm gonna be grinding my own Simple Sip Coffee, and it's a dark Brazilian roast. You could grind it in just a chop grinder. I'm gonna grind mine at a medium grind. This is kind of an expensive grinder, but you could just grind it with this, or you can use uh, just regular coffee that's already ground. Okay, so in theory, we've got this scoop. We should be able to put two scoops in here and then tamp it down. So let's, it can be a little tricky. There's one. There's getting that second scoop in there. You want to kind of make it even. Now we don't want anything on these ears around this porta filter here because it'll get inside the machine, but we just all want it right there in the middle. Now, since this is at a medium grind, it's not going to tamp down a whole lot, but you're going to take the tamper and just kind of give it a tamp. I'm actually surprised it went down. We're just a little bit below the max line. Yeah, and again, this just all seems kind of sharp. So be careful, you know, for an area that you're kind of using your hand in a lot. I thought that would have been a little more refined right in this area. Now, again, you're going to start off at an angle. It'll go, it'll here, go kind of in and then you'll rotate it and it gets kind of tight. Hold the machine and it stops at a 90 degree angle. Okay, the display does go dark. I've had the switch on and it's been probably about five or 10 minutes. The display went dark. If you just kind of touch the display, it wakes it back up. Let's talk about the display. So I can do just espresso, which that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a single shot or a double shot, depending on the filter I got in. If I pick cappuccino, it's going to do the espresso shot and then the milk all automatically and same with the latte it'll do the milk then the espresso shot accordingly to the single or double i can do americana Ooh, americana i've never seen that on a machine before i gotta try that out and then um we've got manual so if i want to add a little bit more froth i can come in here and add a little bit more froth if i want the espresso to go a little bit longer i can add a little bit more espresso and then we got a clean function which helps clean the milk frother at the end so I actually don't know how much it's gonna come out. So let's do a double shot. So you gotta press this, press it again. The double shot is flashing and we're gonna get a double shot out. Now it kind of sits here and makes you think it's not doing anything, but it's really quiet for a little bit. Okay, so the espresso's coming out. Again, I just don't know exactly how much quantity it's gonna be, how many ounces. Sometimes these things can be a lot. Crema looks pretty good on it. Okay, so two ounces. Hey, that's just right. Now, I can't drink these. I have to have a latte and a cappuccino. But you know what? It looks really like a, it looks really good. Now, here's kind of a messy part. This puck is going to be wet. That's the nature of these, of these pressurized filter baskets. It doesn't, all the water doesn't come out. So be careful. We're going to rotate it. Yeah, it's kind of wet, but not, there's not a whole bunch of water sitting on top. 
So here's where you're gonna have to lift this little flap. I really like that they have this, that holds that basket in there. Now normally you can take this to the trash can and just pound it against your hand and the puck should come out. I've got this knock box. Yeah, it comes out pretty good. Just, it's really wet. And that is the nature of those filter baskets. Okay, so you're gonna have some limiting factors on size. Let's, I got another double shot in, we're gonna put it in. But you, you have to have this drip tray, you know, I guess you could take the drip tray out. So with the drip tray out, again, you're gonna be limited to about five and a quarter inches. With the drip tray in, about four and a quarter inches. Now let's do a latte. Now you may wanna turn this down for less froth. I'm gonna go right about in the middle. I've got this measuring cup. We just, I want to see how many ounces it does. So let's do a double shot, a double latte. And that first one ended up almost being 2.5 ounces for a double shot. Now again, this machine's really quiet for a while. Okay, for a double latte, that's a lot. You know, you're gonna have to have a 16-ounce cup. And then it's gonna add another two ounces of espresso shot, but a lot of this is foam. So I think this is gonna make some really nice drinks. Hot milk, espresso shot, and the foam. And then we can adjust this foam amount by rotating that knob. Again, less foam, more foam. Oh, there's the Americano, it says. Okay, okay. Okay, so we end up with, this is a, this is, this makes a big drink. That's a lot of milk. You know, you're gonna end up with 10 ounces and about four ounces of foam. And they give us a chart and the chart's pretty much right on. I'm impressed. It says for a double latte, you need 16 ounce mug. Yeah, you know, I'd say that's right on. So for a single one, it's gonna be 12 ounces. An espresso shot was three ounces. Yeah, I got about 2.5 for a double. A single's gonna be two. Now your cappuccinos, they'll just have less hot milk, the same amount of double shots. So anytime the cappuccino and latte will both have the same amount of espresso in it, it's just how much milk that gets added. Now this Americano, I'm excited to do this because this is just uh, espresso and hot water. It's no milk. Okay, taste is gonna be really important too. So let's, let's pour this into a drink. Now normally you would have this in your cup already. And you're gonna, I like to add some syrups. You know, you can add some white chocolate, have a white chocolate mocha, white chocolate latte. About four pumps, about two tablespoons of this French vanilla. Okay, let's give that a taste. That's an excellent tasting drink. It's still hot. Uh, I've, this has been sitting here for just a little bit. That actually tastes really good. Now it's a lot of milk and it's got some syrup in it, but it tastes really good. Now, once in a while, you want to clean the, the shower head for the espresso. Just, just do a single shot. Don't put the porta filter in. Just do a single shot. You'll see underneath there, there are some espresso grounds that kind of get stuck up there. Now, you can wipe that off. It's really hot, so be careful. I like to just do like a single shot and it rinses it out. Yeah, it just gives that shower head a rinse. And a single shot does run two ounces through it, so it should, it should give you a two ounce espresso shot. Okay, I'm too excited about the Americano. Um, I, got the, I got a double shot in. Again, put your cup in. It's gonna do 10 ounces, so we gotta turn this. The clean position is the Americano position, so turn this all the way and it'll stop to the right. And I've got a double shot in. This is directed into the cup. Let's hit the, there it is. Let's do it in a double shot Americano. Just press it twice, it starts flashing double. And I haven't done any cleaning of the milk frother or anything. I just wanna see how it's gonna do. Okay, so we did get just a little bit of milk in the water. I think that'll be okay though. 
It's mainly hot water. Okay, so we got a bunch of hot water. Now we're getting the espresso shot. It's really, really hot too. I should have checked it earlier, 181 degrees. Okay, so, you know, I don't know exactly what an, an Americano tastes like, but I interviewed Derek uh, Strybig on my Coffee with Dad podcast, and he says it's a an espresso shot with hot water, you know, and that's exactly what this did. It, granted, we did get just a little bit of milk. I could have done a clean first and then done the Americano, but I think it'll taste okay. Okay, so now what's nice about these machines are, I've got this in the clean cycle, but we want to hit the clean button now. That's going to clean that milk frothing tube so that we can put this uh, milk in the refrigerator. We don't have to clean this every single time. So let's just hit the clean button. Just hit it one time. And again, make sure this is in the clean position. Now this one cleans a little bit different. Normally they use steam. And I think that water's hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's not super hot. Okay, normally I like to see steam. That does a little better job, I think, cleaning the tube. Again, lift up. This is probably the hardest part. Lift up, right down here, and now you can pull it out. And you'll know the display will go to, like, you can only do espresso. So did it get the tube? Be careful, that's hot. Yeah, I got it pretty clean. Okay, once in a while, let's see how much we can take this apart. So we can take this tube out. You are gonna have to clean this. Be careful. This can be hot. I think this pulls straight out. Yeah, so you can take this apart. I don't know. This doesn't come apart. This does not come apart anymore. So you're gonna have to kind of rinse this all out. But here's where the tube for the milk, you can rotate this. I don't know if that comes off or not. It doesn't seem like it does. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. But at least we could get a brush in there and clean all that. Extra bonus, this actually gets warm up here. It actually gets not, not super hot, but warm enough to, war to warm up a mug. This thing, I gotta be honest with you, Gourmia. I've, I've gotten their coffee makers. They're very, very cheaply made. Now this one, you can tell it's sort of cheaply made, but wow, did it, did a good, did it do a good job? I think adding the Americano was genius. I think the Americano is on the rise. I've been hearing a lot of people like that type of drink now. $50. This is an excellent price for this machine. So my coffee, just to add a simple sip, worked really well in this machine. It's also available in the uh, K-cup form. Now I ground it at a medium grind and it just tasted really good. So if you want to get a coffee that you know works in this machine, it's on my website, justadadcoffee.com. Now I rushed out and bought this. They were not pre-selling this. I bought it on um, Black Friday came home i missed a day doing some tv reviews and stuff that were also on black friday i should have done this first because i wasn't expecting much i thought 50 dollars gourmia no way um is that going to be a good machine i was wrong um you know i i don't know longevity of it out of the box setup was relatively simple i love the touch screen works um wow what a game changer now i love that the manual is very user friendly it doesn't talk much about the coffee grounds though. This is where it gets confusing. And so, and this is where I did a quick search on different filter basket options. So normally on the more expensive ones, you'll see this one. Again, this one comes with a pressurized filter basket, which allows you to use already ground coffee. Now I did grind my coffee to a medium grind and it worked really well in here. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. YouTube just sent me my $100,000 or I wish. 100,000 subscriber plaque. I really do appreciate everybody's support. This, All of this would not be possible without everybody's support. Again, this is my Brazilian Dark Roast Simple Sip Coffee. Be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my coffee updates. Also, I give away my free products. When I'm done with these, I may keep this one, but um, when I'm done with these, I do end up giving them free. I do free giveaways about once or twice a week on here. And be sure and check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad. I just interview uh, different people with their professions. Everybody has a story. I love to hear stories. So these are just lighthearted, kind of hearing people's story and, and just showing appreciation for what they do. Thanks everybody for watching. And again, if you could, please like and subscribe.